Welcome back mathematicians. In this video, we're gonna look at absolute value equations. We're gonna look at one more example of how to solve an absolute value equation. So what we have is the absolute value of the quantity one minus four T plus eight is equal to 13. And so the first thing we need to do is isolate the absolute value. We need to move all values, meaning any coefficients and also constants over to the other side. So we have a constant of positive eight and we need to subtract that eight to both sides so that it cancels out on the left. And that way we have isolated the absolute value. So we have one minus four T, the absolute value of that is equal to positive five. Now what we have is the absolute value of an algebraic expression equal to a value. And so what we're gonna do here to understand where to go next is refer to our number line. And so absolute value refers to distance from zero on the number line. So what this really means is the distance from zero is five. And so what two values have a distance from zero that is equal to five? Well, we know zero is here. And so five has a distance of five units from zero, but negative five also has a distance of five units from zero on our number line. As a result, what we know is that this expression one minus four T is equal to both of those two points on the number line. In other words, we know that one minus four T is equal to five, and we know that one minus four T is equal to negative five, because those two values have a distance of five units from zero on the number line. And from here, we go ahead and solve both of our linear equations. So we're going to subtract one to each side of each equation. So we can really do this together because it's really the same steps to solving each of these equations. And what we get is negative four T is equal to positive four and negative four T is equal to negative six. And then we go ahead and divide by four, negative four. And so first we get T is equal to negative one. And then we also divide by negative four to the second equation. And so T is equal to positive six fourths because a negative over negative is a positive. And then we do want to reduce that fraction to become three halves. So our final answers are T is equal to negative one and also three halves. All right, guys. Good luck.